Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about some of the changes to the console window uh, for AllCAD Capture and AllCAD Capture CIS. So um, you may notice straight away um, we've now got um, some docked windows along the bottom, so things like the online DRCs, a session log a DRCs. I'll go through how these are docked and how you can un undock these, etc., and move them into different parts of the window if you want to. The same for the project window. Um, there's some new icons um, to cater with the new um, new styling of AllCAD Capture and Capture CIS. Um, we've also got some different color schemes as well, so if you go to the options and preferences. There's a schematic theme and an application theme. Um, so there's a light and a dark. So if we hit dark and click OK, you'll see obviously the schematic working area or the canvas area is now in a dark theme. Um, this can be the same for the actual application area. So we'll go to options and preferences. We'll set the application theme to dark. Click OK. Um, we do need to restart the tools here. So let's just um, close all code capture down. Okay, so once the tool's restarted, you can see obviously the the, out, the the window is now in a dark theme. So let's just go and open some designs. So we'll open the three designs. So I've now got design there uh, for the first first one. Let's just go and open another one. So we'll go back to the start page. Let's click on uh, the demo one. And we'll also open uh, another project as well. So what we'll do here, we'll uh, look at these little arrows, so I can effectively use the arrow to make it a floating option. I can then drag this around, and you see these little uh, graphical indicators here, so I want to put that onto the left-hand side of what I can do. In fact, let's just take that again. Let's make it floating. Let's just drag that. I want to pop that in the middle of this. That will then dock it, so I've now effectively got three tabs for the project window. Um, let's just go and uh, what we'll do is we'll go to our demo design. And we'll start to maximize or, or maximize the working area. So obviously, I'm, I'm taking up working area with this. So if I had a, a bigger screen, what I could do is I could obviously start to drag stuff onto the second monitor. I've already got one monitor in this demo, so uh, it's going to be a bit crowded. But we'll just see how we get on. So I'll make this one floating. Let's make this one floating, and we'll make this one floating. And the windows are then removed. The same for the project window. So we'll float these as well. Let's just drag these about so you can see them separately. Um, let's just go and open a schematic page. Um, and I want that to be floating as well, so we'll take that out. Let's open page one. Oh, that was page one, sorry. Let's open page two. So page two in there. I've actually got this on uh, page one separately. So these can be obviously dragged onto second monitors. You can't see that. Um, so we'll try and do it on the main, main window. Once you've finished with that, if you want to start bringing things back in, we can literally just drag the, the window and you see these bars, these little icons that we can then dock to where we want them to go. So I want this to be docked at the left. I want this to, to be docked in the middle of the left. So that then gives me the tabbed options again. So we'll bring the session log back in as well. Okay, so that gives me the three tabs there. We'll put the project windows back in on the left hand side. Same scenario, we pick the middle of that and then it docks it. So we then get, let's just make this a bit wing, we get, we get the tabs. We'll bring this one in as well. And we're all back into one window. 